hi guys welcome back to my channel today i am showing you these three lovely looks uh, with three different lipsticks so let's get started so we're starting with our primer first this is the Giorgio Armani um, luminous I think it's luminous silk primer um, I will add everything um, in the description box below um, next we are going in with our Charlotte Tilbury light wonder foundation again this is a very light foundation which is why I usually use this as a base because it um, keeps the skin nice and luminous and um, just helps the other foundations sit really really well on the face next we're going in with the Giorgio Armani um, luminous silk foundation this is my absolute favorite one um, you are welcome to use any uh, maybe you know fuller coverage one um, I think for this look though I um, like this one because it's really buildable you can completely make this um, I would say like medium coverage um, but I like the finish of this it looks really really nice and really natural on the skin and even if you are wearing this in the daytime um, you can't really detect it so I'm just using my fingers and then a sponge next I am going in with a corrector this is the YSL Touche Claire and I'm just helping my very very dark circles just adding that with my finger instead of the sponge because I I've noticed that it just helps it's just nice to nice to do to be honest um, next I'm just adding some um, a bit of concealer on my eyes this is the Estee Lauder double wear concealer and then on top of that I am going to set everything with the Charlotte Tilbury powder now going in with um, a cool toned brown colour, this is from a, my Smashbox um, palette. I've used quite a few so I will list everything down below including all the colours. Then I'm going in with a slightly darker but again a cooler greyish brown colour just to enhance the um, outer V and we can obviously make this much more pronounced as we go on. next i'm going in with a nice orangey copper color um for some reason my camera did not um record the beginning of this but the palette and the name of the color i will write down in the description box so i'm just adding this to my lids uh, with um, my finger first and then this really nice flat brush from mac cosmetics it's one of my favorites so i'm just packing that on to my eyes Next we are going in with a slightly warmer dark brown colour just to complement that coppery orange colour and adding that on top of the grey one that we did before. Um, this just gives a slight more dimension to the eye. Next we are going to set the under eyes. I added uh, the concealer as well actually under my eyes which for some reason did not get recorded. Um, yeah, so I'm just setting the whole face and my under eyes with my powder. Next, we are going in with the bronzer. This is the Chanel bronzer. Um, again, just going through my cheeks, my jawline, and my um, above the temples of my hairline. Um, you can absolutely add um, contour, but I usually don't really like contour, so I don't add it. For blush, I am going in with my MAC, um, I think it's called the Extra Dimension Blush. Um, this is a really nice luminous peach colour. I'm using a sponge uh, because I want like a really nice concentrated colour on my cheeks and on my nose. Next, we are going in with a highlighter. This is a really beautiful highlighter uh, because it's quite subtle uh, and looks really, really good, especially in daytime as well. So now I'm just going in with my mascara. This is the Lancome uh, Monsieur Big Mascara. Um, for the eyes actually, um, off camera, I did my eyebrows, which um, it was just like a gel for my eyebrows. And I completed the eyes. I just added some um, brown pencil in my waterline and tight line. And I added the same orangey color under my eyes as well. 
so now we're going on with the lips so the first um, lip color that I'm doing so I'm just adding my lip pencil here which is from NYX and my first lipstick is from Tom Ford um, this is a really really nice natural pink color uh, it has a beautiful beautiful texture and it wears for a very long time so just to make sure that it lasts a longer longer time I'm just going to blot it ever so slightly and then add another layer on this so this way it's um it looks very very natural and it just stains the lip really nicely as you can see here it's really really natural really beautiful um that you can eat and drink and it won't budge the next one option that i have for your lips is a nude color this is from revlon Again, you can use any nude color you like. Um, this in particular I, I like because it's creamy matte, so it will stay put, um, but it won't dry out your lips and I think really complements the eyes. And the last um, and most um, adventurous color here is the red color. This is um, the MAC Red and um, just to add some dimension, I'm just going to add that nude color in between my lips, so my cupid's bow and my lower lip, just to add that slight more dimension. As you can see, it gives those um, slight dimension to the lips, which is absolutely beautiful. Um, and that's it, guys. I hope you guys like this video. Please do let me know if you have any suggestions, and I'll see you guys later. Thank you. Bye.